Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on doing reflections. Now in the video on describing reflections, we saw that we had the equation of the line of reflection. So just as a reminder, let's do that for this first one, reflect A in the line x equals minus one. So the way we draw the line x is minus one is we can think of all points which satisfy this condition where the x value is equal to minus one. So let's think what points we can see where the x value is minus one. Well, this point here, minus one, two, the x value is minus one there, isn't it? What about this point here, minus one, four, the x value is minus one. And we can see that it's all the points on this line here cutting the x axis at minus one. Now, once we've done that, we can just reflect this shape in that line. And what we do is we do it point by point. So this point here, we go directly towards the line of reflection. So we go one square left until we hit the line of reflection, and then we go the same again. So one square left, it's gonna be here. What about that one? One square left to get to the line of reflection, one square left again. And then this point here, one, two, three points left, and then one, two, three points. We end up here, and then we can now join that up to form our shape B. So that's the first one done. What about B? Reflect A in the line Y equals 1. Label it C. So to draw the line Y equals 1, let's think of all points where the Y value is 1. So what about here? 0, 1, the Y value is 1. Or 4, 1. In that coordinate, the Y value is 1. 7, 1, the Y value is 1. And we can see it's going to be this line of points cutting the Y axis at 1. So we draw that, and now we do the same thing. So let's look at A. This point, we're going towards the line of reflection. One, two. Do the same again. One, two. Ends up here. This point here. One, two. One, two again. End up here. And this point towards the line of reflection. One, two, three. One, two, three. We end up here. We join those up. And then we get C. And then finally, a slightly harder one, reflect A in the line Y equals X, label it D. So now we're looking for a line of points where the Y value is equal to the X value. So for example, like 2, 2, the Y value is equal to the X value. 4, 4, the Y value is equal to the X value. 0, 0, the Y value is equal to the X value. So it's going to consist of a line like this, a diagonal line. Make sure it's going to go through 5, 5. So don't try and sort of fudge the line. Actually draw it properly. And now we've got to reflect this shape in that line. Now this is a bit harder because you're going diagonally, but we still just count the squares in the same way. So just look at this point first. We go directly towards this line of reflection. We can see we're just going half a square. So we go half a square again, we are here. What about this point? We're going towards this line of reflection, one square, half a square, do the same again, half a square, one square, we're here. And then finally this point up here, we've got one square towards this line of reflection, two squares, and then we do the same again, one, two, it ends up here. And if we join that up, we get this shape here, which we're labeling D. And that looks right. If we put our mirror here, we can see that A looks like it's been reflected over to get this mirror image here at D.